Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be talking about something that you are going to be using a lot in JavaScript, just like everything that we've gone over in the uh, the basics here. But this is something that's more um, exciting, right? These are going to be if statements, uh, and if statements allow some sort of you know some sort of thing where the computer does some work for you. It checks something, and then it does something based on these values. So we could do something here. I'm going to get rid of this code, and I'm going to make a variable. I'm going to get rid of all of this code, actually. I'm going to make a variable that's just my name. My name is going to be equal to Scott. There we go, just like that. Now, I'm going to do an if statement to check my name. So uh, it's going to say, if my name is Scott, then I'm going to console log um, Scott is cool. OK, because you know that's logical. So we're going to say if, and it's just the words if, if. Notice how my uh, code coloring changes it red, so you know it's something. And next, we need to have parentheses. And inside the parentheses is the thing that it checks, right? So we said we wanted to check to see if my name was really equal to Scott. So we can reference our variable, and we can say name. And Remember, this has the value of Scott. We can say if our variable, and in the last lesson we learned that two equals checks things, right? And now in JavaScript, there's some inconsistencies with how uh, these equal signs work. So people often suggest to use three equal signs. Um, and it isn't just that one more equal sign is better than two or something like that. It's, it's really uh, a bit deeper than that and a little bit too much to talk about in these basic videos, but it has to do with uh, what's really equal to what, right? In some instances, like a string that's equal to two is incorrectly said that it's equal to a value of two if you use the wrong one. So, so you don't run into any inconsistencies and that things operate the way that you'd expect them to. For now, use three equal signs. And that's just for this uh, comparison. And till you learn more about it, and you can distinguish when to use the two or three, or when it's going to affect you. So we can now say Scott. And this is going to check if name is equal to, in quotes, Scott. Um, now we want it to do something. So to get this to do something, we need to use curly brackets. and you do it like that. So this is saying if name is equal to Scott, then what's ever inside of these curly brackets is going to be done. And if the name is not equal to Scott, it would just skip all of this entirely. So I'm going to go ahead and add a comment checks to see if name is Scott. And then another comment that just says outputs something. So we're going to say console.log and in here we can say name plus and then in quotes um, is cool period. And now we're going to finish this line with a semicolon. Notice how we didn't finish this if statement with the semicolon. This is our sentence here. We're going to finish this with the semicolon. You'll get a uh, quite a bit more used to when or when not to use these as we go on. But for now on, here we're using a semicolon at the end of this statement, uh, just like this one. So this, if is everything is correct, when we refresh our page, it should say, Scott is cool. Scott is cool. So we did, uh, if you remember, we went over this plus adds strings to strings. So this is a string plus a string equals one long string, Scott is cool. So that's why that plus works. We could have also just said um, like this, but this isn't as flexible. Maybe if we wanted to change the name at some point or something like that. So now let's try something else, right? Let's leave this how it was. And 
let's say the name is no longer Scott, but it's Scott with one T. Uh, now I refresh the page, doesn't show anything. Um, it doesn't show anything at all because it's just glancing over this stuff. Now, uh, this can be pretty basic, right? Some of you, if you've done any programming before, this is anywhere. But if you've never done programming, this is a big concept. So uh, this goes back to our Booleans, right? This outputs a true, therefore it's printing my Scott is cool. Likewise, if I would just say if true and refresh the page, it's going to say Scott is cool. But if I were to say false and refresh, does not. So whatever takes place inside of here, if it's true, then it happens. If it's false, it doesn't. So let's go over some basic comparison operators. So we did the three equal signs, right? Uh, and we did two equal signs, whatever. But let's say if we want to say is not equal to right so we want to say if name is not equal to Scott which it is not then print Scott is cool so you learn this exclamation point in the last video sort of negates things so where we had two equal signs and it was equal this sort of means not is not equal so if, if name is not equal to Scott with two T's, then print out the name. And for confusion's sake, let's just change this to Bill. Okay, if Bill is not equal to Scott, then print out Bill is cool. Now, what happens if we wanted to check numbers, right? So we could also say if three is greater than, um, and you're familiar with these symbols from basic algebra and math, uh, if three is greater than two, save then print bill is cool and it does however if we say if three is less than two it won't print so we have this greater than or less than we also have greater than or equal to in this case three is equal to three or this i believe sorry this is less than or equal to uh, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to and using these things you can check any sort of value um, and use this in your if statement to output a boolean which then can validate or invalidate your if statement and then print out some stuff or uh, do some cool stuff for you. So in the future this is going to be a very important concept because we're going to be uh, checking things a lot and doing things with that data um, in all sorts of meaningful ways. So this is an if statement. This is how you write it. If parentheses your statement, your conditional, parentheses, bracket, and then your uh, what should be evaluated if it's true, and then a closing bracket. Notice the spacing I have here. This is some stylistic choice. Notice how if I take a lot of these spaces out, save it, it still works. Uh, that's one thing with JavaScript is that sometimes it doesn't really care how you write it. In fact, we could write this all on one line and it still work. Uh, but it's it's nice to have these open stylistic changes. There's all sorts of people who write style guides and stuff like that that will show you how to write nice looking JavaScript because it's not super strict. Um, and this is really just how I prefer it to look. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, please comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter, level up tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Uh, we always love to hear from you. Um, and yeah, this is great. So there's going to be lots more videos coming out in the pipeline very soon. As always, this is Scott Tolinsky with Level Up Tuts. I'm on Twitter at S Tolinsky. We're on Twitter at Level Up Tuts. You know, contact me in any way. We just can't do technical support, but you know, I'm always happy to talk to people. So thanks for watching. Bye.